Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to create a simple buff for our character. Now, it's going to be very basic. We pretty much have learned all the stuff I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial, so it's nothing special really. But for the people who might be new to my tutorials and want to learn how to make a simple attack buff, I'll be showing how to do that. And uh, it doesn't just have to be for an attack, it can be for player health if you want to increase uh, any kind of buff you might want. So if you wanted like mana regen to regen faster or anything like for a specific amount of time, um, you can use this simple code. So I'll be going over it real quick. So right here I created a simple little um, thing that our player can collide with, the little box, and um, I added it and made it attack buff because this is what I'm going to be uh, referencing from. So it's going to be increasing my player's attack by 10. So you just want to go into add tag and bring down this list and add your attack buff wherever. And then you just want to go back on there and click and select it. So that's all you need to do for that box. Um, you shouldn't need to do anything else for it. We're going to go in here. I just went into uh, my player stats and this is where I'm going to be changing um, that information. I should probably create a separate script but just for it being uh, tidy I didn't want to make an extra script just for a buff because it's going to be attached to my player anyway so I just threw it in here. So pretty much on our on trigger enter, oh yeah that's one other thing you want to do. Um, you want to make it a box collider and you want to select is trigger. So for on trigger enter, um, if our player collides with the attack buff which is this box, um, it will activate our attack buff function. So if we go to attack buff. Um, I just said max attack equals max attack plus equals 10. So pretty much it will be adding 10 to whatever our, our max attack is currently. And I just put a debug.log so it'll show up in our debug because I don't have any other way of testing uh, how much damage I do unless I was attacking something. And even then it wouldn't show up the exact same because it fluctuates. Um, and then we used a uh, yield wait for seconds. So it will increase our max attack by 10 for 10 seconds and then it'll minus equals. So if we use something like plus and minus, um, it wouldn't calculate outright from what our current attack is. So we always want to use plus equals and minus equals for that. So it will, yeah, just increase our max attack by 10, wait 10 seconds, and take it back away. So it's a short little buff, it'll increase your attack for 10 seconds, and you can do something like, um, you could have a little buff icon pop up on the screen, maybe I'll do that in a future tutorial. Like if an attack buff is activated, it could add it to a array of buffs and display it on the screen somewhere, and we could have a little timer that tells you how long the buff is lasting for before it disappears. So I'll probably end up covering that in the future. But for now, this is all you need for um, getting this to work. And like I said, you could change this from an attack buff to maybe a uh, like a health buff. Maybe you want your health to uh, multiply by like two, so you just do max HP equals mat max HP uh, times two if you wanted to do that. And also you could put a code in here if you wanted to um, like make it so you're, max, you're at max health again. So it'll change that and then go back to normal. So there's a lot of different things you can do. You can make whatever buff you want to do. Um, but yeah, that's a simple way to do it. So we're going to test this with the council right now. I'm going to go and clear that because I was testing it earlier. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and I'll just make my player collide with that box. Oh. 
Damn it. Alright. Hold on one second. We're going to test this again. I did not have my lock camera, so it kind of messed up. So we're going to lock the camera. We're going to walk through it. You can see that it changed to 40, and we're just going to wait 10 seconds, and it should change back to 30 after 10 seconds. So, yep, it went back to 30. So it was originally at 30, it went up to 40, and then back to 30 after 10 seconds. And I would probably add something else in here. I would probably either destroy or move the object below the terrain for a certain amount of time. So if this was like a pickup buff that you only wanted to show up once in a while, um, I, I would recommend doing that. Just so the player couldn't run over it like 5 billion times and see each time it increases by whatever and that might end up screwing up the timer. I am not sure if the timer will get messed up. Actually, I guess it sends separate timers for each one. So, yeah. That is a simple way to mess with your buffs and stuff. So,